<clears throat> All right, welcome, and uh, get that fixed right there. Sorry about that, and uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna have to mess with a few things here as we're going. Uh, which one are you want down? Oh, my my, my uh, headset. Just that, a touch. Is that perfect. Perfect. All right. Hi guys. All right. Here we are. There's always something going on, right? Always. Um, let's see here. Still no change. Uh, you may, I may be in and out just a little bit here as we uh, try to get our score back. Now you can change that manually, Justin. You know how to do that, yes, right? Yes, sir. So we'll uh, we'll manually change it until we get it fixed. It may take us to halftime to get it fixed, but here we are. Um, Fountain Lake and Pottsville. This is the 4A4 action. It's a big game for the Pottsville Lady Apaches. They really need something good to happen tonight. Um, they're, uh, I think they played okay this, this week or uh, last weekend or last week um, in the yeah, Hoops, Hoops for Hunger. Hunger. Yep. Showed themselves pretty good. Um, now what they need to do is kind of put it together here in conference play. Yep. Tough. Lady Cobras are a pretty solid team. Going to be a tough job for the Apaches tonight, but uh, got Kennedy Corbin starting, so uh, we're going all out. <laughs> She's back. She's ready to go. Yeah, she's been chomping at the bit all season to, to start again. I'm going to call Bill real quick. I'll rock on. Hopefully we can get some help. Our, uh, we have this little tool called a stream deck, folks, and uh, it makes it where I can just push a button and, and the score pops up, and uh, it's just not working right tonight. So uh, we're going to try to get it fixed before halftime, but no telling if we will or not. Got Tony Sweden jumping. Found Lake Control's open and tip. Here we go. Standing out the defense a little bit. Three ball there from number 30 for Found Lake. Uh, get the rebound over there, Potts Hill. Not what we're looking for there. Tie up though goes to Pottsville. Yeah, it's the ball on the string deck. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, the Martin takes a three, no good. Corbin fights for the rebound. Affects enough. Ah, gonna be a foul on Drew Hollis there. Seven twenty-four left. Lady Patchy's first foul. Start the game off. I thought it was a foul. Not showing up on the scoreboard yet. Another open, almost open three. Look for number thirty there. Deep three there. Sure, what the call is there? I guess yeah. it touched the top of the backboard. I got it. Thank you, Dad. Well, hopefully this worked. All right. We get the clock started again. Okay, I know how to fix it. We'll fix it on a break. Sweet. So, let me see if I can get some basketball stats pulled Let's up. Be with the Lady Cobras again. Ball on the ground, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a jump ball. Looks like Fountain Lake is going to take possession. Been a lot of that so far. Yeah. There usually is. Seems that way anyway. Good inbounds pass yep. number 30 there, but good Connie block. Sweden gets the block, yeah. Sweden plays a lot bigger than she is. Can you imagine if she was, oh, I don't know, Five seven five eight. Even. <laughs> you know she is so athletic. The Fountain Lake Press giving a little bit of trouble here early on. Yeah. 
both teams kind of filling each other out here. Fountain Lake getting all the way to the hoop, and there's Corbin. She's making a difference. I'll tell you, we saw that at the Hoops for Hunger tournament. She really makes a difference down low. Yeah, she does. She's uh, the, she's just the, the size presence that uh, Pottsville just doesn't have outside of her. And I tell you, I felt like the team played with more confidence when she was on the floor. Yep. And she team three. And that's Emerson Corbin. So Coach Stephen Morgan's starting a little bit of a different lineup tonight with both the Corbin girls, and you got Sweden and, and Maley Martin. And is that, uh, let's see here, who am I missing? I don't, I guess Drew I'm Hollis. Miss. Drew Hollis, there you go. So Coach Stephen Morgan trying to dial something up here. Good pass by Tony Sweden and Emerson Corbin. Corbin gets the first two of the game. It's 2-0 here. Ball thrown away by Fountain Lake. Going to be Pottsville ball. That's where you don't want it nope. right there. We got traveling violation. That is the exact wrong spot to be. Yep. Lady Cobra's doing a good job on their trap defense. They're playing hard right now. Our Pottsville rosters are down there. It's <laughs> a good spot for them. Well, not really. I know. <laughs> Fountain Lake working against the zone of Pottsville. Pottsville kind of packing it in a little bit tonight. Seven and eight overall. They are three and one in the league, though, is, is Fountain Lake coming into this ball game. Nice job by Martin knocking it away. Got a two on one. Tries to get it up to Corbin. Ball is thrown away. Corbin saves it, and it goes off of Fountain Lake. We've got a 30-second timeout for Fountain Lake. We'll take a quick one with them. 4.39 left here in the first quarter of play. It's 2-0 Pottsville. We'll be back in a moment. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real. We're back here at uh, George Jones Gymnasium, and it's 2-0 Pottsville with the ball inbounding underneath. Hollis gets it. They run a nice little set play, get it inside to Sweden. Sweden playing big there, but she tried to get it to uh, Corbin. Corbin couldn't handle it, and uh, it'll be Fountain Lake ball. Love the attempt. She should have just gone up with that. She probably would have fouled. She's a pretty solid free throw shooter, about what, 70% on the year? That may be. Good block by Emerson yeah. Corbin. That's three on the game so far for the Lady Apaches. All the way is Emerson Corbin. She's pushed in the back there. Probably should have got a foul. She yep. puts two in. It's four and up. And uh, Corbin's got both of the, the made baskets so far. I'll take it. 4-0 Pottsville as we're a tick under halfway through the first uh, or halfway through the first quarter of play. Lady Patchy's playing aggressive defense. Yes, they are. Let me get something out Get another turnover there. Oh, sorry, Joe. Good take by Maley Martin. We've got a bottom line in there. We'll fill that in in a moment. I'll get it. Six nothing here as Maley Martin puts it in for two. Pottsville getting some good shots, shooting a high percentage early, doing a good job of getting deflections as well. And 
And we got a substitution coming in for Fountain Lake. We have about half of a roster for Fountain Lake. Not, we don't have a whole roster for them, so we're going to be doing about the best that we can here early. Oh, cross the line. That's a foot fault in soccer. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. that or not. I will in a minute. Thank you, sir. Emerson Corman coming out. We got uh, Allie Bradley in the ball game. And we got. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> she was just the, three inches taller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just talked about that, right? <laughs> and, and we've got uh, Hollis in as well. Um, Sister Hollis, sophomore yeah. Hollis. <laughs> Skip pass, three-pointer from the corner up, no good. Rebound comes away to Fountain Lake. Deep three yep, there. Another three, off, no good. Looks like Pottsville's going to get the possession. Their lack of height helped them there a little bit. Went off uh, two Fountain Lake ladies. You know, Fountain Lake's not an overly big team themselves. So that that plays into the hands of the Lady Apache. Good cross court pass to Corbin. Kennedy Corbin gets her own rebound, puts it up, no good. She's battling oh, down man. there. She can't get it. But uh, you got to like that if you're a Pottsville fan. You know, that, that's something you hadn't seen a lot of this year with uh, being able to get offensive boards there. And so even though she wasn't able to put it in, she was able to get a couple boards. And, and, and really, I think in the long run, that's going to help her team. Yep. Emerson Corbin coming in for her sister. Maylee Martin playing the good defense in the backcourt. Two nineteen to go. We need this table just a touch closer. <laughs> Great defense, Maylee Martin getting the steal. Martin, really good player, man. She's a, she is a impressive sophomore. Got a really good future here as a Pottsville Apache. Quick as a hiccup. Shot up and good by. Maylee Martin, Drew Hollis coming back into the game, coming in for Bradley. Second shot up by Martin is good. She's got four Pottsville's on the board with eight nothing so far. They, Fountain Lake has yet to be able to get a shot in the bucket. 877, I don't think so. Just eight. <laughs> I don't know how that one happened. When we get those scores, when that button reset you and you start getting the uh, plus two and stuff, you're probably going to have to reset the scores altogether. Three-pointer by Drew Hollis, no good. Emerson Corbin got it and puts one. it up, puts it in. She's got a chance for an old-fashioned three-point opportunity. She's playing well tonight. Six points as she goes to the line. Potts will up 10 nothing here. Kennedy Corbin coming in, or Marlo Hollis. I, her name finally came to me, her first name. <laughs> I am terrible with names. Old-fashioned three-point play. Emerson Corbin puts it in, and uh, she's got seven. Her and Maylee Martin have done all the scoring so far for the Apaches, but 11-0, that's a great start. Yeah. Cannot argue. No. Ooh. Good defense. Sweden with the steal. Pottsville's got a break here, four on two. Maylee Martin gets the pass. She can't finish. We've got a foul. Foul is going to be on Corbin, I believe. Yep. <laughs> I know Maylee Martin wants to have that one back. Yep. It's all right, though. The Fountain Lake player, she got a hand on the ball. And there's another steal by Martin. All the way to the hoop. Emerson Corbin couldn't finish it. 
I believe that's her first miss of the game. Yep. No second, she missed a three to start okay. it. Okay. Put that in my stats. <laughs> Two-pointer, and I was going to say three, but that's a two. Good board, Miss Corbin. Corbin again making a difference here. And, you know, Fountain Lake just hasn't gotten that many shots in the first mm -hmm. half, or first quarter. Here, 102 remaining. You got to get shots up to make points. And a good 30% of those have been blocked. Yeah. Not too many shutouts in the quarter here, so we're pushing that. With a minute remaining here, we got Martin is going to pick up a foul. And uh, that is going to be the third team foul on the Apaches. Court pass gets in the, the zone. Good cut there. That's a good shot. Finally got one to go there. And Fountain Lake finally on the board as we're under a minute to play. They get a chance to set up their press. Good ball movement, sister to sister. Uh -huh. Emerson Corbin couldn't finish, though. And, uh, boy, they I know they want that one back. Pottsville yeah. did a good job of breaking the press, just couldn't finish. And there's a yeah, that was she thought about perfect. it good. Good move there, and uh, number 34, who I don't have on my roster, has got four points. She said, shut out nothing. Good backdoor pass, another good pass, and Kennedy Corbin on the board. Three seconds, two seconds, Fountain Lake going to let one fly. Nope. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So 13-4 is your score as we go to quarter number two, and uh, we'll be back here in just a moment. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. Second quarter action here as we bring you Pottsville Apache basketball. Kennedy Corbin misses her shot. We got Emerson Corbin going for the rebound, jump ball. And that's going to belong to Fountain Lake. And uh, everything's set now, finally, in the second quarter. Not quiet. We still got to set hot keys. <laughs> Some technology is funny, isn't it? You know? A little bit, yeah. I'm pretty sure I probably deleted that somehow, though. That's probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you got to have this, this, this computer's got to be less than half full or it, it messes up. So, anyway, 735 left here in the first half of play. Potsdam with a nice lead. Boy, Drew Hollis, that's got to be close yeah. to 10. Good timeout there by Coach Steven Morgan. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. Let's throw our local sponsors up. Hopefully. You deleted it. No, I didn't. I promise I didn't. It's in there. Go look in there. Actually, right there. New sponsor poster. There we go. So we're back here with the uh, local sponsors. Appreciate you. Thank you to the fine sponsors of Tyson Valley Distribution Center, the Tyler Riley River Valley Realty, McNeely Plumbing, U.S. Air Force, Roy's Heating and Cooling, Heirloom Legal, and the Granite Shop. These are the ones that make this thing possible for you to watch 
High School Basketball, your favorite team, the Pottsville Apaches right here on uh, the Pottsville Apaches on the Arkansas Sports Network. Appreciate uh, everybody for uh, helping us here. It's been a great time. Great year again so far for us. And, uh, well, we're expecting 24 and 25 to be our, our best years yet. It, it's January the, what, 5th, 4th, and we're talking Man. about 25. <laughs> great board, Corbin. Nice job by Kennedy Corbin. She puts it in for two. And uh, Potts are looking good so far tonight, 15-4. They get it inside. They get it right where they want it. But Kennedy Corbin is just right Man. there, <laughs> straight up. Nice job by her. And there's a steal by Emerson. Emerson's everywhere tonight. All the way to the hoop. She mm. can't finish it, though. Emerson is playing good ball tonight, though. Yes, she is. Good shot, nothing doing, though. And we've got a jump ball. Jump ball is going to belong to Pottsville. Got a couple new ones in here. Alexa Hayes coming in. Yeah. Alexa, she really makes things happen when she comes in. She does a good job. Yeah, she's full of energy when she's on the court. Yes, she is. Sweden. Speaking of balls of energy, yeah. he has it in the front court. Maylee Martin thought about that long three-pointer. Sweden doesn't think about it. She lets it go, but it doesn't go in. And uh, Fountain Lake on the break. Pottsville still doing a pretty good job on the defensive end, just allowing four points so far. Fountain Lake doing everything they can to get one up and in. It just isn't falling right now for them. Now Pottsville pushing the tempo here. Maylee Martin, a little floater shot, mm. no good. Basket not being kind to Pottsville right now. Maylee with the steal, yep. though. Maylee gets it all the way to the hoop, shot up. There we good. go. 17-4, Pottsville doing some work tonight. Their best game since Stuttgart. You know, I, I do think that the addition of Kennedy Corbin in, in the lineup every game is going to give them a chance to at least get to a regional tournament. I'm not saying they're going to. I'm saying give they, them a shot. It gives them a shot, which really all you can ask for. I mean, I feel like a successful season usually is, That's you know, getting to here. that regional. It's timeout for uh, Fountain Lake, another 30-second timeout. We'll just stay here. Let's do another. Let's do our locals once again. Um, again, it, it, we appreciate these fine folks. But uh, looking at the standings here, Morrillton and Darnell sit at the top of the standings at five and zero and four and zero apiece. Fountain Lake is right there at three and one. I'm gonna try to find their their wins and losses here. Mina at two and three, Clarksville at two and three, Pottsville at one and three, Ozark at one and three, and Waldron at zero and five. And that is your uh, 4A4 update here. Thank you again to the local sponsors uh, for allowing us to do this. 514 left in the first half. Pottsville cruising here. You, I'm telling you one thing, you probably wouldn't, if you just watched this one, you probably wouldn't know which one's the one and three team and which one's the uh, the three and one team. Yep. Pottsville doing a good job tonight. Playing on that home court always helps. That shot clock violation there. Great defense, Lady Apaches. Shot clock violation. Pottsville again, you look like I said, playing good defense tonight. Fountain Lake having a lot of trouble getting the ball in the hoop. Only seen a handful of shot clock violations this year, which is uh which is really nice. Didn't see many last year either. Yeah, it's uh definitely 35 seconds is a long time to get a yep. shot off. It really is. And you know, I'm not saying that, that it never should be a shot clock violation, but got to play pretty good defense to keep a team from getting a shot off in 35 seconds. Because a lot can happen in basketball in 35 seconds. That yep. shot was no good. And we got we got a foul or we got a jump ball? Foul. Okay, foul on Fountain Lake. So 440 to go. What'd you say? It's just first foul of the quarter for either team, so. Yeah. 
I know I comment on it a lot, but uh, man, the uh, the five fouls per quarter has really changed the game as far as how many free throws each team shoots. You know, it it is not unusual. Good cut by Sweden. Well, she, she's passing the ball well tonight. You know, it, they're, yep. they're not able to finish it, but she's getting it to the spot. Sweden has it. She gets again gets it inside the Corbin, and we've got another jump ball, and that's going to belong to Fountain Lake. Yeah, she's hitting the spot on the pass, that's for sure. I'm trying to find. So who has found Lake beat in the conference here? They've lost to Moralton. They beat Waldron and Clarksville and beat Mina. Good Hit. block, Kennedy Corbin. That's three for her. Makes a difference. Ball on the ground again, another jump ball. Marlo Hollis tied up this time. And that's going to go down on the baseline. 3.57 to go here in the first half. That's one with a commanding 17 to 4 lead. It feels like it's 100 to 4. I mean, I'm not saying that as a, a insult to uh, Fountain Lake. It just right now they're, they're really unable to get the ball in the hoop. So until they, until they show that they can get it in the hoop. <laughs> Yep. You know, 17 might be enough to win tonight. <laughs> but you know what? As soon as I say that, things will start picking up. Right? Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. All right. Man, they're fighting for that ball. Three-pointer up and good. Got that one. And uh, number 34, she's got all seven of the Fountain Lake points right now. There's Emerson Corbin going to go to the free throw line. And her second trip tonight. Very, very active tonight. High energy for Emerson Corbin. I feel like she's really got talent, you know. I, I think yep. she could bring something to the table here, I'm sure that uh, Coach Steven Morgan has really kind of been waiting on her to kind of establish herself a little bit. We've seen her, and when she really gets hot, she can shoot the three ball very well. Yes, she can. Second free throw is good. Lead back to 11 for the Apaches. Potts will really flash in the passing lanes tonight. You get, if you're Pottsville, you got to find her. She's their offense. And she's got every one of them right now. Nine points for number 34. And it's 18 to 9 lead. Maley Martin has it in the front court. And, you know, Sweden's shot was no good, but rebound come the way to Corbin. Boy, I tell you what, they're physical down there, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Jump ball. <clears throat> Going to belong to Fountain Lake. And. Like the 15th jump ball tonight. You know, Fountain Lake found themselves down, what was it, 18-4? 17-4. 4 but here we are now, 18-9. Doesn't feel near as insurmountable. As I had just said, they're never going to win this ball game, right? <laughs> Basically, right? Yeah. If they can't put it in the hole, well, they started putting the hole a little bit. So, ball out of bounds, going to belong to Fountain Lake. You know, they're 3-1 and one for a reason. Um, three and one in the conference for a reason, so. Ball tipped by Emerson Corbin. Good ball fake. She puts it on the deck. 18 footer, no good. Good rebound by Tony Sweden. You know, they call it 18 footer the worst shot in basketball now. You know that? Yeah. You know, everything's layups or three pointers anymore. Yeah. And uh, three-pointer up and good there by Emerson Corbin, right on track. She's got, oh, she, what, she got 10? In her 11. 11, she's got 11 points tonight. 147 remaining, we're gonna have a special guest with us. I, I don't know if he's gonna be here for now or if he's gonna be here for the boys game, but we talked about him being here for the boys game, but uh, Peyton Prohaska is going to join us. 
sixth grader. He's very interested in the uh, the call and ball game. So we're, we're going to let him come up and do a little work with us. And we've got a foul on Fountain Lake with 1.33 to go. 12-point advantage for the Lady Patches. I think Pottsville just needs to close this half well. You know, they've yep. been in command the whole game. Don't, don't let them back into the ball game here at the end of the half. Somehow Emerson Corbin was able to come away with that. Well, I'll tell you what, they're allowing a lot of hacking and slapping yeah, out there. I mean, my goodness. It's like hack check all over again. So two new Lady Apaches back in the ball game. Allie Bradley has it, gets it to Martin. Sweden has it, backdoor pass, good job. Gets it to Kennedy Corbin. Most impressive about that, she kept the ball above her head the whole time and just put it that's in. That's it, that's it. Good fundamental basketball right there. Being, being six feet yeah. on the court. Very easily the tallest player on the court tonight. Not very many games does Pottsville have five the blocks. <laughs> does, does Pottsville have the advantage in the size department tonight is one of those games though. Get in there. There's a three. It's mm. off. No good. 30 seconds remain. Pottsville leads by 14. Shot up, no good. 20 seconds, possible. I'm going to try to take the last shot here. Fountain Lake really doing a good job of, of playing a little junk defense here. Corbin puts it on the deck, two seconds. Martin pulls a three, it's mm. off, no good. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter, or first half. Pottsville leads 23-9. We're going to get a couple things straight, and uh, we'll come back with stats and analysis. You're watching Pottsville basketball right here on the Arkansas Sports Network.
Welcome back as uh, we are going to give you a couple percentages here, kind of give you some stat updates as uh, we are um, getting ready for second half action. Uh, as you can see, there hasn't even been a free throw shot for the Fountain Lake Lady Cobras yet. Only nine points in the ball game so far for Fountain Lake. And for Pottsville, they've shot the ball pretty well from the free throw lineup. 40% from behind the arc um, has really uh, helped them a lot. They've played pretty well up 23 to nine. Justin, 14 point lead. They've been able to cruise after a uh, 11 to nothing start. It's been nice to see Lady Pashies. She played really good defense and shooting the ball pretty well. And more importantly, they are rebounding the ball better than they have all year. And I think that is, that's the difference in this game. They've just rebounded the ball, and their defense has been really, really good. Kenny Corbin with five have blocks. Come on and listen with us. And it's just been a good time. <laughs> they, they, look, they look like they're enjoying playing out there tonight. Right. I'm going to bring Peyton in here, but he's going to listen with us a little bit. Peyton, I muted you on the mic. I'm going to let you talk in the boys' game. I'll let you have this for now, though, all right? So Peyton's going to be with us in the boys' game a little bit, and uh, we're going to just bring him in, kind of let him shoot. see what's going on. Yeah, we, we need a bigger table now, right? <laughs> really. And Peyton, all this is my water, because if I don't have water, I choke. So here I am. <laughs> but uh, it looks like the girls are coming back out for second-half action. Let's uh, go ahead and throw the local sponsors up real quick, if we can. Again, thank you to the fine sponsors here uh, for making this possible. You've got uh, Tyson Valley Distribution Center. We've got Tyler Riley, River Valley Realty. We've got McNeely Plumbing U.S. Air Force. The Granite Shop Heirloom Legal. Appreciate Heirloom Legal, by the way. They've been a great supporter. All of them have been great supporters, don't get me wrong. Heirloom Legal did my LLC. So <laughs> yeah, they're, they're <laughs> we appreciate thankful them. for them. So we're getting ready for second half action. Pottsville will have the ball up 14 as we get going here. Martin is being guarded pretty heavily here as we start. You know, Fountain Lake, you know, they've had some pretty good effort tonight on the defensive mm -hmm. end of the, of the floor. Pottsville's been able to break their press for sure, get some decent shots here. Um, you know, I don't know if, if uh, maybe Fountain Lake can have a big third quarter try to get this thing to the fourth quarter or not. I guess we're about to find out. All the way to the hoop, shot up, no good. That's gonna be out of bounds. It's gonna to belong to Pottsville. I like bringing that press out. Now, they're, they're pretty active in that press. And so for, for them, you know, this is a way to speed the game back up get it going in their direction. At the free throw line. By the way, you're gonna have to change that score manually again because it just won't. Oh yeah. It just, I don't know. Well, I'll have to go in and take a look at it after the game. You got the front end. First shot up and good. Second shot off. Big rebound by Tony Sweden. She's probably got 10 or 15 boards already now, it feels like. Get in there. Three no good by Sweden. Shot up no good by Fountain Lake. Ball's out of bounds and belong to Fountain Lake. I, I don't know how you call that one. Who do you call that out on? <laughs> it's, well, that was a tough one, really. Brad, you know that music bed. Right. Three pointer from the corner, no good. Another three up, and that's in, that's good. And uh, Fountain Lake kind of crawling the way back into this one. One thing about the Lady Cobras right here is they don't, they don't quit. They're not mm -hmm. gonna quit, they're gonna play hard. And sometimes you can play yourself into a win that way, but Corbin puts it in for two. Kennedy Corbin making her presence felt tonight. Eight points for her. Pots has got three scorers right now. And uh, they, they've they got, uh, I think I've got a little bit more than what they have, but uh, got 
I think we've got Sweet or Corbin with nine, Kent Emerson Corbin with nine, and I think I may have Maley Martin with just a <laughs> little bit more. That's six blocks for Emerson. Six blocks. Yeah, I mean, that makes a difference, obviously. There's deep a three. three. It's a deep one. Hey, <laughs> she can play, man. Yeah, she can. And that's her second three of the ball game. 25-16 here. Hey, he's getting a little closer than you probably wanted if you're a Pottsville Apache fan. That one was almost thrown away. Corbin to Corbin. Shot is up by Kennedy. No good. She's going after her own rebound. She was unable to finish. And now Fountain Lake's got a chance to get it as close as they've had it. And uh, three-pointer no good, but they could have got that as close as they've had it basically since we started right there. Drew Hollis has it in the corner, gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy puts it up and in. Got two. it. And we got a timeout, Coach Drew Sieben Morgan. It's a full timeout. We'll take a quick one with them. 27-16 is your score. 529 left in the third. We'll be back in a moment. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. We're back here at uh, George Jones Gymnasium, 529 to go in the third. It's 27-16. Uh, Fountain Lake with the basketball, though. Possible keeping it at 11 after an 11-0 start. I don't know. It feels like if you're Pottsville, you want, you want to try to keep it there. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I guess you want to keep it as far as you can, right? I mean, oh, yeah. Pottsville has led by as many as, what, 14 tonight maybe? Yep. Keeping it at 11. Fountain Lake had a chance to cut it within nine. It had been the closest that they had been. But uh, they missed a three-pointer and uh, really hadn't been able to, to do much. But here's a nice shot. Shot up no good, though. Rebound comes away to Fountain Lake. And again, they're going to play hard tonight. Seven blocks for Kennedy Corbin. Boy, you, you talk about seven blocks. You're talking about it, the difference in the ball game right now. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fountain Lake just... Moving the ball further and further away for the, for a little bit. Now they're yeah. getting it back in, engaged in the offense. They're moving. I feel, you know, Pottsville's playing pretty good defense mm -hmm. tonight. I, I, you oh, got to yes. give it to, I mean, seven block shots is, is testament to that. But really, they're doing a decent job of staying in front of their man as well, which is, is really making that defense stingy. And they're breaking the press here, Emerson Corbin. All the way to the hoop. She can't get it, but those long arms of Kennedy. And one. Count it. Put it in for two. Kennedy Corbin going to the free throw line for an op opportunity for a three-point play here. And uh, gets that lead back to 13 as she goes to the free throw line. I tell you what, Emerson came in with a shot and then just somehow those long <laughs> yeah. arms able to save that possession. She's able to put it in. And now we've got a chance at a free throw. She knocks it down. She's got 13. That's 30 to 16. You know, like I said, I feel like that that she kind of changes the outlook of the team. You know, I, I'm not sitting here saying that this team's going to win conference. Um, you know, I'm not trying to to say that, but I am saying that she gives you an opportunity. Yep. And and the girls seem to be responding. I noticed that with uh, 
in the Hoops for Hunger tournament. They played harder. I felt like they played with more confidence when she was on the floor. And then now tonight, kind of the same thing that we're seeing. And then, of course, you've got her kind of back of the backside to anchor, and it's got seven block shots tonight. And, you know, right there, she just caused the girl to back out. She yep. wasn't going to shoot it over. That makes a difference. They have nine block shots as a team tonight, too. Ball out. Ooh. <laughs> it got punched out by number five. Oh, I don't know if it did. <laughs> I guess Potts will take it, though. Margot Hollis coming back into the ball game. And there's a foul. 334 remaining. Pottsville up 14. I'm going to bring Peyton in. Peyton Prohaska. How are you, buddy? Good. So uh, your dad had messaged me and said, hey, we, uh, we want to get Peyton up here. He likes doing this kind of thing. So we're going to let you do a little bit of it here. <laughs> another three. Emerson Corbin knocks another three-pointer down. And uh, Pottsville leads by 17 now. So back to the, the largest lead of the ball game for the – Lady Apaches, if you need to stand up or whatever to see, just go ahead and do that. Peyton, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I love sports, and um, I like to broadcast. Well, <laughs> and, and, and your dad's old friend has an opportunity for you to broadcast, so here you are, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, nice job by Fountain Lake. Man. Getting four quick ones there, cutting that 17-point lead back to 13. And I'm telling you, I, you know, one thing about these Lady Cobras, they are playing hard tonight. Yeah. It might not be their night, but they're playing hard. There's the 10th block there for the Lady Apaches. But look, I mean, they just, they are relentless. Not as, not nearly as athletic as Springdale, but mm -hmm. feels like that type of game, you know. Springdale really came in and just yep. really played hard that night. Felt like not as talented as Springdale, but playing hard. Peyton loves sports. Football player, right? Do you play basketball too? Yes, sir. And uh, Emerson Corbin going to travel there. What do you love the most? Is it football? Is it basketball? Which? What is it? Uh, I love them both a lot, but I think I like football more. Like football more. I don't blame you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's some clips on the internet if you want to see Peyton. He's pretty good. Pretty good player. And what makes you like broadcasting so much? Uh, I don't know. I just like to talk about the game and yeah, sports. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk about this one. What are you seeing right now? Uh, I see that um, the Cobras are doing pretty good on the defensive side. Pottsville needs to work on getting out of the press and getting on the other side of the court. Yep, yep. The press is, is causing some problems for uh, Pottsville. Lady Apaches are, are – Definitely having some issues, but they're also breaking it too, and they're up 13, so that's a that's a good sign for them. They got a good lead going on here. They they do. They they've been 11 nothing on the start, and it's really just kind of stayed that way. Good pass there by Sweden. She gets it to Marlo Hollis, and Marlo puts it in for two. That was a good look. Well, that was a good look. Now Fountain Lake has it across the timeline. Pottsville pushing their, their offense out. and well, We talk about Fountain Lake's defense, but Pottsville's played some pretty good defense herself tonight. 139 and counting here in the third. The ball out of bounds going to belong to Pottsville. I'm sorry, Fountain Lake. A little crossover dribble. She gets it in, shot up, blocked again. That's Corbin's eighth block. Oh, and she's just altering shots out there when she's not blocking them. That one stays. Uh, oh. Ball's going to stay on this end, though. She's going to have a triple-double with blocks tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just two more. I don't know how many rebounds she's got. You're right, she... I mean, I really do wish we were ke keeping that now because that is a possibility for her. Nah, she's got at least – she has at least eight boards already. Ball kind of batted around. There's Pouton Lake again. Oh, I don't know about that.
eight blocks for Kennedy Corbin. Again, when you, th you think about a 15-point lead and the eight blocks, Justin, I mean, you're talking yeah, about. That's the score right that's there. It's a, a difference. It's a difference in the ball game. Good little ball fake, kicking out. Another ball fake gets inside. Pottsville seems to be there, though, and then they're funneling right down to Kennedy. Kennedy gets her to kick it out, and she gets the rebound. There's a look. Yep, Baseball there's, pass. There's Hollis all the way, shot up by Hollis, no good. She's fighting for it. Ball's going to be off of her going to Fountain Lake. 37.2 to go. Kim Bay Matumbo won a whole lot of basketball games blocking yes, shots. Yes, he did. Yeah, so. he did. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't the, the highest scoring player, but he definitely made a difference. There's no doubt. That defense that they play really funnels things to the middle. That 1-3-1 one, one will funnel. Yep. It should. <laughs> when it's working, it should funnel things into the middle. Ow. Out of bounds can belong <laughs> to, to the Lady Apaches. 17.8 to go in the third. Again, we want to remind you that we've got boys action coming up as well. Boys game should be a good one. Fountain Lake, another team, you know, coming in here. They're, uh, I think they're kind of like the girls, kind of closer to the top of the conference, but I think they've got several wins this year. Three seconds, two seconds, a little floater. Woo! Ooh. Nice. That and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Potts will... Goes into the break, 35-22 is the score. We'll be back here with more Pottsville basketball right after this. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. We're back here at uh, Pottsville, fourth quarter action. 35-22, Pottsville with a 13-point lead, trying to pick up their second conference victory of the season. Good pump fake, pump, pump fake right there. Shot up no good. Good rebound, though, by Fountain Lake, trying to kick it out. Again, Corbin kind of altering the game so far. Lady Apaches are five and seven on the year, trying to move to six and seven, and uh, get that second victory in conference. Bad spot to be. <clears throat> I'll tell you, man, that that felt like press is relentless. Yeah, it is. But Potts was doing a good job of getting it over the top of it. And really, what they, they've got to spend a little less time trying to dribble through it and a little more time. Pass Good a great pass. pass. Great pass there by Tony Sweden. And it's 37-22. Time running out on the Lady Cobras. I just want to see Kenny DeCorbin get two more blocks. Here's one right here. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Challenge three-pointer on the way. No good. Offensive rebound, though. Yep. And we got another miss there. And again, the, the, the basket just hasn't been kind to the Lady Cobras. Really, uh, really only one scorer of note tonight, which is number 34, who I don't have her name. Maylee Martin puts a three up. No good. Got a foul, and it's going to go the other way. So, Peyton, what do you want to do when you grow up, buddy? Either play professional sports or broadcast. Okay. Well, there you go. Show us a car like a grandpa? 
sir. You don't want to sell cars like a grandpa? Come on now. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> he, he likes sports, man. I know it. I tell you what, it's good to have dreams, man. It's good yes, to have goals. We didn't think we'd be doing this four years ago. I tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, who knows what avenues will be open by the time he gets there? Foul is uh, on Pottsville going to the free throw line is number 30. She's got two free throws, 6'10 to go. Fountain Lake's got to figure out a way to get uh, get some scoring going. That is right. First one's good. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one is also good. Pops it down. Now, I know that your mom's got to be listening right now, so <laughs> you might as well say hi to her, right? Yeah. Hey, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Three-pointer by Corbin. Up, no good. Rebound Fountain Lake. Are you a, are you a big Pottsville Apache fan? Yes, sir. You're a Razorback fan? Both. Both, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. See, what grade are you in again? Six. Six, okay. Got a timeout. I believe he said full. I believe I heard that. It is full timeout. Yes, it is. We'll take one with them. 548 remaining here in this ball game. Pottsville with a comfortable lead. We'll be back in a moment. We all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you. Back here, you can see the uh, fine sponsors that make this possible. Appreciate everybody for making that possible, and I appreciate Peyton for being up here. I was just telling Peyton that I've known his mom and dad for a long, long time. Known, you know, grandpa. Well, both your grandpas. I, I know your your grandpa McAllister for a long time. Sir? You come from good family, man. Yeah, you do. There's a long three up off the front iron, no good. Maley Martin comes away with it. But Fountain Lake not letting up on the press. Good job by Martin to handle the press, though. I don't know where that one was going, but it wasn't going anywhere good. And that's Trying gonna, to get to Corbin, she got pushed out. Yeah, that one's going to be tough to come yeah. down with no matter what. Oh, yeah. Get down low so I can get two more blocks for Kennedy tonight. <laughs> I just want to see it. And we got a foul going on the side here. So Peyton, is this everything you thought it would be? Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. A lot of equipment. Yeah, there yeah, is. there's a lot of equipment, I can tell you. It's not quite as complicated. She just got another one. <laughs> it's yep. nine. Yep. And Peyton, the funny thing is, this isn't even half the equipment that we carry to a full game. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When we do, uh, when we did the state tournament last year, we had basically three tables like this full of stuff. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yep. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> like you said four years ago, you'd have never thought that we'd we'd be doing it. On a consistent oh. basis like this, but here we are. We've got a great uh, relationship with the Pottsville High School and the school district. Another timeout for Pottsville, 30-second timeout. 440 remaining here. Pottsville's again still with that 13-point lead. We'll be back here in just a moment. 
D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desert. Let's do a lot of stuff across the state. If you don't know about us, we do name players of the week and players of the month and players of the year and players of the universe. And <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to think that. Yeah, we, we appreciate everybody that, that's involved with us helping making that happen. Uh, D3 Auto Sales, big one, big supporter of us. Arkansas Tech University, also a big supporter of us, along yeah. with all these locals. Yeah, uh, I got to thank Ryan Taylor for that. Absolutely, Ryan Taylor has a big help to us there. Good move and another block there, that time by Sweden. I'll tell you, I, when they look back at this film, they're going to say, my goodness, just the block shots, that's enough to have made the difference in the ball game. Sweden wide open. Shoot she that. gets it to Emerson. Emerson goes baseline. Damn. We got a foul. Two shots. Emerson Corbin going to the free throw line. Well, Peyton, I'll tell you, man, you're sixth grade. If you want to go after broadcasting? We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. You know, if you want to be on ESPN, you're going to be good looking enough to be. I'm not good looking <laughs> enough to be on ESPN. <laughs> Me neither. I, I'm not good looking enough to be on ESPN, but you're going to be good looking enough to be on ESPN. So. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I may have to help you and, and get you in the right, on the right path. Yes, sir. No, they're bored for Kennedy Corbin. Yep. And there's Emerson. She Ooh. balls knocked away though. Don't be. Oh. Don't finish sloppy here. I mean, 13 is not quite insurmountable just yet. Good offensive rebound. They just can't put it in the hole tonight. There's a three. It's up. Off no good. They get their own rebound. This is a fourth try at it. We got it out of bounds. And they just can't get one to go down. It's been just a little bit of everything. I know this is... Been a little bit of a frustrating game for them tonight. Well, but I'll tell you, you're not going to see too many teams in conference that play any harder than that. <laughs> three pointer. And that's Emerson Corbin's third three pointer of the ball game. And uh, not quite done just yet, but real close, I'd say. We got. Another jump ball. Pottsville's going to get it. 3.02 remaining. Maley Martin coming into the ball game. Three new ones coming in for Fountain Lake. And Fountain Lake, unless something crazy happens, going to fall to seven and eight or seven and nine on the year. Three and two in the conference now. Maley Martin has it in the front court. She did a great job of handling that press that time. Ooh. I'm going to tell you. This Fountain Lake team playing them at home is going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be tough because this style of play translates to home a lot better than it does to the road. And so they're they're going to be, you know, up in your face. That's something that Potts was going to have to look forward to. Great pass. Yep. And yeah, one. Yeah, one. Kennedy Corbin going to the free throw line. Had a great ball game tonight. And, uh, you know, like I said, Team looks different with her in the ball game. She's one block away from the triple double. Man, I want, <laughs> I want her to get it so bad. 17 points is what I've got her for tonight. Off no good. So she's got 17. I've got her sister with 17. Both Corbins had a good night tonight. Not too often you get to score 17 points yeah. with your sister. Nope, not often. Fountain Lake going to go to the free throw line. It's 
2.17 to go, 18-point lead for Pottsville. I think it's safe enough to say they're going to go ahead and, and win this one. I think so. That first one's good. First one's up and good. Oh, he took her out. Dang it. <laughs> Somebody needs to tell him. Oh. Two free throws good there for number 22. Cuts the lead to 16. Ball on the ground. And, you know, Pottsville's been able to come up with a lot of those loose balls again when you play them on the road, though. Yep. You're really going to have to bring your A game because I'm telling you, they just they play so hard. And you're just, you're just not used to that. Bring the boys up here. That's good. That two. That's two. 44-26. Good D. All knocked oh, what away. a save. Yep. Never want to save it under the, uh, you're, you don't want to save it if you're on the defense no. underneath the basket. That's a, a cardinal rule there. Yeah, let it go. 12 oh, seconds finger on there. Clock. I heard it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Been there before. Still playing, though. Five seconds. Again, can't say, you know, we talk about Fountain Lake a lot and how hard they play. Bots will play good defense tonight in the half court. And uh, that, that's been enough to keep them ahead. And we've got some new ones coming in. Uh, Salazar coming in along with Lake and Reed. My roster's down there, so I can't, <laughs> I'm not familiar with everybody. Oh, stolen. I'm going to let you take this minute away. Have at it. Okay. <laughs> that will be out of bounds. That will stay at the Cobra's goal. Out to the three point line. Three point fires and Ooh. it is good. That one was a pretty shot. Yeah, well, that was a deep three. Deep. Gets it to the three point line. No foul. Kicks it back. Three point. Decides. Going to pass it. And. Get in there. There we go. Two point basket for Pottsville. Lake and Reed puts it in for two. Every time she comes in, she scores. Yeah. Looks like we've got a boys roster for the game. next game. That's good. Pump fake. Gonna dribble up, passes it. Kicks it out to the three point line. Gonna drive. Loader, good little good. drive. Lives with Brock with the board there. Her getting some minutes. Oh, backcourt violation. Nah. No. No. Nope. End of the game. That's End it. Of the game. So Pottsville wins 46 to 29. We're going to close things out here. Let us uh, get some stats up. We'll come back, close this one out, bring you the boys' game in just a moment. You're watching Pottsville Apache Basketball on the Arkansas Sports Network. One way that you can see a kid play, and that's the, that's the whole point of what we do, is to allow kids to be seen through the Arkansas Sports Network. We don't do highlight tapes, we do full games. Mm -hmm. And so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching us. No, I thought you guys, matter of fact, that's funny because for us, for me, like I couldn't get out and go to the state tournaments because yeah. we were playing. And I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, thank you. So to watch and the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and and just watching, we got to watch his games through the state tournament and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. 
Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Right back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate Glad it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about right it. On this front line. Rodriguez is going to sit up. Manny Smith, he goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up. Welch, was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, though. Oh, there's a miscommunication. Tap. Rolling out the pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desark, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the biggest thing in high school sports, and we're proud to be a sponsor. And back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of Pottsville Apache Basketball. Appreciate you joining us here. And again, we're going to wrap things up. Pottsville comes away with a nice win. Um, they moved to uh, six and seven on the year. And they moved to two and three in the conference. Uh, coming up, I, need, I should have filled that up already. Let me uh, pull that up real quick. Well, I knew they got Ozark coming up. Saturday will be yep. there. On Saturday, I believe games start at three. We'll be there though, so you can watch it right here on ASN. And then uh, next week they host Clarksville, travel to Moralton. Um, so uh, you see the numbers there. Pottsville didn't shoot the free throws that well, five of ten from the line, but uh, shot the ball well from the three-point arc. Got in, was able to uh, really offensive rebounds and different things of that nature really helped them out. You've also got the Corbin sisters really had a great game tonight, and uh, it sparked Pottsville to a victory. We got boys warming up here. Seven minutes to go before we get things kicked off there. We're going to go ahead and go to our breaks, and uh, we'll come back with boys action here in a little bit. Go get yourself a drink, come back, and uh, we'll have Pottsville Apache basketball right here on the Arkansas Sports Network.
back here as uh, we get ready for boys action. And I've got to turn that off. Maybe if I, I hope that I can, I don't know what's causing that. <laughs> That's obviously not correct. Not the way it's supposed to be anyway. I don't like announcing their starters. They've got a good roster here on the computer, so that's good. <laughs> it's always a welcome sight. So Fountain Lake comes into the ball game 11 and six. And uh, Pottsville had a pretty good showing at the Hoops for Hunger tournament. They um, were not um, well, they were one and two, but they played Russellville, who's one of the top teams in 5A, Little Rock Southwest, yeah. who's a 7A team. Uh, definitely makes a difference, you know, those bigger teams. They played pretty well against uh, Russellville. Of course, I'm sure that they would have wanted to do a few things here, a little few things there a little bit better, but overall, I felt like they played, they showed themselves, they didn't embarrass themselves. Yeah. We'll say that. I was hoping he gets to watch it, but I was, uh, well, there is no cell phone reception. So we got a new starter in here tonight, Cade Brodigan. starting. <laughs> so um, he's, uh, he has earned his way to the starting five tonight for sure. He's had a great season so far. Really is playing well as he, as time continues to go on for, for him and, and in this, uh, you know, just basically getting used to this level of play. Him and JC, they play good together. He's on jump center tonight, so he's being thrown right. <laughs> right into the fire. On his first one, nice. Steve Fugate going to bring it across the timeline. Looking forward to this one. Great cut, that, great pass. That's, that's a good start. I, I like him shooting that three right there. He's uh, I feel like he's pretty good at shooting that three. He would got his hair cut, I think. Oh, good defense, though. I just lost my phone, Dad. Give it. Of course, three-pointer, no good. You really got to carry a charger, Brad. I know, I know. And I actually have one. A vehicle. <laughs> Fugate gets it out to Fryer. Fryer gets it to J.C. Jones. Fugate there. pulls a three, off, no good. Rebound, Fountain Lake. Big game for both these teams tonight. And I really think a, a comfort positioning game in a lot of ways, especially for Pottsville. Pottsville's down a little bit in the conference right now. Uh, they're below Fountain Lake. Fountain Lake has, has showed themselves pretty good early. And I believe three, three and one in the conference, setting in third place behind Subiaco and Moralton. So Pottsville needing to pick this win up. Prior shot, no good. Rebound comes away to Fountain Lake. Both teams trying to work in their first score of the ball game. Good defense, J.C. Jones. Well, oh, is it going to be thrown away? He saved it. Now they got to get it across the timeline. They do do that. Jones has it. 18 footer up, off, no good. Rebound, Fountain Lake. Peyton Mahoska joining us again here in this ball game. Justin Smith producing and running color as well. We got Cash Wilf on running camera for us. Three pointer from the corner. We got three seconds in the lane before that, though. Got no, it's a foul. It's going to be a foul on a. Uh... <laughs> you keep turning that daggum music bed up, Brad. <laughs> keep forgetting about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just we just want to have a disco party, man. That's all. <laughs> we just we just want to we just want to have a party while we're doing this. Brodigan has it. He gets it into the lane, trying to get it to Williams. Ball's knocked away. Williams get, comes away with it though. 16 on the shot clock. Brodigan pulls it, 15-footer, no good. Another Rebounds, team can buy a basket Fountain right Lake. now. Fountain Lake going to 
Try to penetrate that 1-3-1. That's how you beat the 1-3-1. Ball movement, threes, and penetration. And that three-pointer gets Fountain Lake on the board, 3-0. Jones trying to answer the three. It's off, no good. Good rebound by Williams, though. Jones puts his head down. They tried to draw the charge. No call on that one. Jones puts three up. It's off, no good. Mm. Rebound comes away to the Cobras. shots by Pottsville. Yep, they're they're work, trying to figure out how to, to break that ice early in this ball game. Oh, the hardest one is usually the first one. Fountain Lake has got their first one. Nice Good little move. up and under move. Rebound comes away to the Apaches. Fryer thought about the three, gets it out to Williams. Williams gets it inside, probably got away with the walk there. Ball knocked away, and Fountain Lake has it. Now on the attack are the Cobras. Nice pass, and ball's going to be out of bounds, going to belong to the Apaches. Couldn't <laughs> handle the uh, over-the-head pass there. Shade to Jason Williams right there. That was a uh, nice play there. Man, we got some new ones coming in. Is that Austin? Is Austin James? Is that right? I believe so, yes. Again, don't have my roster. And then, gosh, Sutterfield. Blue yep. Sutterfield in. So Pottsville shaking it up a little bit. Austin James there. pulls a three. Now he can shoot that basketball. Yeah, he, can. he can shoot that three. So new rotations for the Apaches so far. So trying to. Trying to change things up just a little bit tonight. Three nothing though. We're coming up on the three minute mark here in the first quarter of play. Potts are still looking for their first point. Jones with the interception, goes all the way to the hoop. He's fouled. Gonna go for two shots. JC Jones going to the free throw line. Now, Peyton, you're a, you're a guy that likes to watch hoops. JC Jones is a guy you need to watch, a very high IQ player. Sir. And uh, likes to get to that free throw line where you're going to score a lot of points right there, free throw line. First shot up by Jones is good. I don't even need that if I don't have my phone, right? <laughs> Second shot by Jones up and good. 3-2 now is your score. Pottsville going to extend that 1-3-1 one, one defense. Good little back door, and that's how you beat it right there. Got to get back if you're a wing on that 1-3-1 one, one defense. That's, that diagonal pass is yours. Also working on a high ball screen, gets it to Jones. Jones mm. three, no good. Rebound, Fountain Lake. Fryer getting ready to come back into the ball game. Lake trying to screen that backside. Good pass. Nice play. Potts is going to take a timeout early. 30-second timeout. Let's go to the locals if we can. 2.22 to go. 7-2 to two is the score. Coach Hill over there trying to get his team's attention right now. Fountain Lake has come out. Started well. Anytime you're on the road, that's what you, that's what you want. You want yep. a good start. And uh, very rarely do you win a road game without a good start. So Fountain Lake has put themselves in a good position that way. Thank you to the local sponsors, Tyson Valley Distribution Center, Tyler Riley at River Valley Realty, McNeely Plumbing, the U.S. Air Force, Roy's Heating and Cooling, Heirloom Legal, and the Granite Shop. Without these fine sponsors, we couldn't do this. Make sure you go out and support them. 7-2 is the score, 2.22 to go. Cade Brodigam going to inbound the ball. Inbounding to Skeet, the man. A few games. Sutterfield has it at the top of the key, trying to work off the James screen. Comes out, gets it as Fugate. Fugate putting it on the deck. 17 on the shot clock. J 
James has it. Get in there. Ten foot. Austin James puts it in for two. Austin James seeing his first real extended minutes of the season. Plus he got him against Little Rock Southwest. We weren't there for that one. Good ball fake. Good defense there by Possible. Look who comes up with it. Austin James. Three-pointer in the corner by Brodigan. Almost, but not quite. And uh, almost doesn't count unless it's hand grenades and horseshoes. And so here we are. We've got uh, Fountain Lake with the ball after the foul on Pottsville. 131 to go. 7-4 to four is the score. Two new ones coming in for Pottsville as well as Fountain Lake. Fountain Lake going to inbound the ball with 131 left here in the first quarter of action. There's that backside pass. I know that they do not want to give that up. That one, you got to get back if you're the wing on that defense. That, that right there is where that defense is susceptible. You have to know that it's there. Help me out, Justin. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm running this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Focused on it. it uh, yeah, they're, they're playing decent defense. They just can't get get the shots to drop like they're looking for tonight. They're, and they got good open looks, too. There nice we job go. by Fryer. Now he's on the attack. Pulls up, free throw line jumper, no good. Good rebound by Williams, though. He's shot, his shot is altered. We've got Jones on the ground. Jones going to call a timeout, which Pottsville retains the possession. What do we got here? Did they oh, call a timeout? They, they called, they called foul. Okay, okay. Called a foul on foul. I line. felt like that they tried to call the timeout, but uh, probably Coach Hill was probably glad that they went ahead and <clears throat> didn't give him that timeout. It's been two timeouts in the first quarter. Jones has it under a minute to play. 7-4, Fountain Lake with the lead. Jones gets it inside. He's using his body a little bit. And we've got an out of bounds going to belong to Pottsville after the shot was deflected by number 10. Now he's probably one of the last guys I would have thought would have deflected <laughs> a shot tonight. 22 on the shot clock. Mm. Tried to find James, ball was deflected. Good ball moving by Fountain Lake. Yep. Oh. Yeah, nice job by Sutterfield on the recovery there. 22 seconds. We've got about one second differential between shot clock and game clock. Three is mm. good. Fountain Lake coming out. Great start for the Cobras. 11 seconds to go. 10-6 is the score. J.C. Jones going to bring it across the timeline. Six seconds, five. He pulls a long three-pointer, mm. knocks it down. At the end of the quarter, they're going to let one fly, but it isn't going to be close, and that's going to be the end of the quarter. Pottsville gets a little momentum headed into the second quarter. 10-7 is the score. We'll be back in just a moment. We all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you. just because. <laughs> there we go. I really like that music, you know? Yeah. Got you. <laughs> yeah, thank all our sponsors That's again. It. That's it. We appreciate everybody. You see them on the screen there. I feel like I say them so much so that people <laughs> probably get tired of hearing them. But uh, we do appreciate everybody for joining us here. We don't get tired of saying them. That's right. We don't get tired of, of them helping uh, because you can't do it without help. And uh, Justin is definitely Justin of all people is, is probably the most grateful because he's a he's a Pottsville man, 
And uh, he, he likes doing this for sure. Great pass, J.C. Jones. All the way to the hoop. Couldn't get the finish, but good job, good look. Great pass, like you said, Williams was ahead of the pack there. And Williams is going to go to the free throw line now, trying to cut this lead down to two, or maybe, well, to one even, with two free throws. First shot up, in and mm. out, no good. I see mom taking care of Austin. She, she brought him some water. She knows she's glad to see Austin get a little bit of run here. 10 8 is the score. Now, after Williams' free throw, Pottsville extended the defense once again. Just enough to slow him down. Yep. Attack in the middle there is, is Fountain Lake, and that's, that's the way you beat it. Pottsville playing really good defense. They're, they're, they're moving right now. Tell you what, I, I like Fountain Lake's point guard. He's getting mm -hmm. the ball to spots. Now, that one didn't quite go through like he probably wanted it to go, but I'll tell you, he, he's done a pretty good job of, of making the game easy for uh, some of his teammates. Double screen. Jones pulls it. That's a tough shot there. 16-footer, no good. Possible needs to be a little bit more patient on the offensive end, try to work it around, get a, a good shot. 10-8, Fountain Lake with the lead. Good, good pass, pass there. Oh, probably a little too unselfish there, but Fountain Lake will recover. Three-pointer from the corner is up. It's off. It's no good. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Ball didn't hit the rim. They know it. They pull another three. It's off. No good. Rebound. Comes away to Brodigan. Good look no, ahead. All the way up. Fugate to Jones. Jones puts it in. It's a tie ball game. Great use of the left hand, J.C. Pottsville on a 6-0 run here to tie the ball game as we are under six and a half minutes here in the first half. Good D in the inside. Now Brodigam has it on the steal. Three on two. Nice job. Get it to Fryer. Fryer puts it in for two. 8-0 run. Pottsville leads first time in the ball game. You know, Justin, that three, you know, at the end of the, the quarter really gave Pottsville a little bit of momentum, a little boost that they needed. Changed the whole profile of the game. Skip pass, three-pointer up, and it's good. I tell you, I'm, I'm liking the look at number 11, man. He's a good player. Yep, can't give him an inch, I don't think. <laughs> Williams saves it, and then he puts a three up. It's off, no good. Rebound, Jones. Jones <laughs> puts it in for two. Five thirty to go. Potsa leads by one. That's a kick ball. Should reset the shot clock. Five twenty to go. Austin James coming back into the ball game. Well, they haven't reset the shot clock yet. No, you're right. Uh, maybe under twenty. I think they may reset it to twenty. So interesting. Ball knocked away. Pottsville comes away with it. Pottsville on the run. They're, they're playing up-tempo ball tonight. Brodigan being tough on the inside. <laughs> he puts it up, but uh, he didn't get to go. Free throws coming, though. So Pottsville is moving quickly tonight. They're, they're definitely they're, they're, they're playing with pace. Being aggressive. But they're just the, the shots aren't falling just yet for them anyway. But Brodigan at the free throw line. That's one way of doing it. When you can't get the shots to fall, go to the free throw line. 15-13. Cade Brodigan again at the free throw line. 16-13 now is your score. First three minutes of the second half and different ball game than the first quarter entirely pretty much for the Apaches. And Pottsville still, you know, on a 10-3 run now. Good high-low by Fountain Lake. Really well-executed offense right there by the, the Cobras. One-point game. 
Brodigan puts the dribble down, puts the three up, and he <laughs> drops it down for three. And we got a timeout, Fountain Lake. Looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll take a quick one with them. Watching Pottsville basketball right here on the Arkansas Sports Network. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. Back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage, Pottsville basketball. 4.38 to play here in the first half of action. 19-15 is the score. Fountain Lake took a timeout. Their head coach was really giving it to him. Trying to get his team to get Good going. Good deep, him. Uh, Pottsville's got four on one here. Fryer all the way to the hoop. Block foul. Count it. Going to the free throw line for an old-fashioned three-point opportunity. He would have been two steps farther out, that would have been a charge. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He was well into the basket there. And, you know, I know we've had that conversation before about the half circle not being in high school play, but that's why the half circle is there. It's the right call. And uh, he completes the three point opportunity. Good job by the senior going to the basket hard, finishing well. Fountain Lake down seven here. Now, wasn't it a funky game last year when they played here? It seemed like yeah. some three-point or something. <laughs> that, that was after the buzzer went off, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jess Potts, if you still got that picture, I'd appreciate if you send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice execution again by Fountain Lake. Five-point advantage here for the Apaches. Apaches coming back quickly. Brodigan really didn't have anywhere to go. He did find Fugate. Ooh. Fugate knocks it down for three. And uh, the offense has picked up quickly here. Pots will struggle early, but, uh, man, they have, they have found the bottom of the bucket here in the second quarter. Buckets free buckets, Brad. And they they're sure are helping, they're helping themselves with their defense. Timeout, Fountain Lake, 3.33 to go. Looks like we're going to have another 30 maybe. Yeah, let's throw those locals up again. Really goes without saying anymore. <laughs> Appreciate them. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching as well. I have no idea how many's watching, how many's watched. Haven't you had time to check? Yep. <laughs> Jaden Harris said, go Cash. <laughs> Jaden loves you, Cash, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, we love Jaden Harris too. Yeah. Appreciate you watching, buddy. 25-17 is the score. Pottsville again picked it up offensively. Peyton, what do you think so far, buddy? I think Pottsville's doing really well. They uh, got the lead so far, and um, I think the Cobras need to work on maybe their defense. <laughs> well, you're, you're speaking like a coach. We got to speak <laughs> like a broadcaster here. <laughs> got to be. You got to be judicious sometimes. Sometimes. If, if the team's supposed to work on their defense, you just say, you know, tonight's not their night. <laughs> but I think right now what we're seeing is probably a little bit more Pottsville offense creating their offense off the defense more so than really breakdowns on the defensive end of, of, of Fountain Lake. One thing Fountain Lake is doing a good job of is executing on offense even though the ball did turn over there. Yep. They've, they've done a really done good well. job. They've done a really good job of executing when they haven't turned the ball over. So there you go, there's the game in a nutshell. And you don't have to make anybody mad. <laughs> no, sir. Fugate thought about oh. three, you got Austin That's James gonna pick up the foul there. Yeah, he just ran that boy over. He's just like, man, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a big guy, man. <laughs> that guy ain't so big. <laughs> it's okay, Austin, don't talk to the ref, buddy. Keep it, keep it quiet. <laughs> Williams coming back in. <laughs> he, he's so confused right now. He's so confused. Here, big old boy. Uh, barely touched him. Right? I love it, though. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Eight-point lead for Pottsville. Pottsville really giving Fountain Lake fits with that 1-3-1. Brodigan doing a good job at the top, too. Yeah, he is. 
I'll tell you, the key to that defense starts at the top, trying to cut the, the half of the court away. Brodigan's doing a good job of being big at the top, which makes them throw the lob. Fugate pulls the three. It was nowhere close, and now Fountain Lake has it. Now, Pottsville has seized the momentum of the game. They want to keep this here for the next 223, see if they can take it into the uh, halftime break. Good pass there, get it down low, shot up good. Again, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. When they're not turning it over, they're executing. I know that's probably got to, oh, mm, saw it coming. Yep. Saw it coming. Now, here we are again. We talk about momentum. Pottsville had the momentum. They've got to try to figure out a way to keep the momentum here. 2.08 to go. Those two plays in a row, what you <laughs> just you got it. <laughs> Yeah, he did. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> so it was a Fountain Lake three that won the game, yep. correct? Yep. After the buzzer, Fountain Lake three. And Jess is, Jess is on top of it. <laughs> well, good defense. Me and Jess actually need to talk sometime. We, uh, you might give him my phone number and we can, can talk. Can do. Yeah. Three-pointer on the way up, no good by Brodigan. Six-point six game here. Fountain Lake trying to cut it to three with a three. It's no good. Now Brodigan again. Brodigan's around the ball tonight. Quite good a bit. move. Look at that spinner. Oh, oh my goodness. Would have been a nice finish. That was it, though. Man, good job, kid. Fountain Lake trying to make something happen. Pottsville being active on the D, and right now the three is just not falling. Yep. That's, you know, the, the three and the one three one. If you get the three to fall, you've either got to come out of it or yep. lose. <laughs> yeah. Usually, but right now the three's not falling, and uh, Pottsville's doing a good job of being active in the, the one three one. That's an open one right there. He knocked it down. I mean, it was wide open. And here we are now, the, the lead is three after being eight. And that was what I said before, didn't want that momentum to go away going into half. Yep. Pottsville needs something good to happen here. Rodigam has it in the corner, and that's, <laughs> that's, there it is. There it is. That's a young man playing good basketball here as he, he gets his feet wet here in senior high basketball. Sophomore Brodigam having a nice night tonight. And really, you, you say that, it's, it's really, it seems like more every night now. He's really playing well. 30 seconds remain, 18 on the shot clock. Fountain Lake going toward the basket. Good move, nice finish. What I like about Braddock, it's not all in the scoring column there. It's rebounds, it's defense. Good job there, Landon. Nice job by Williams, putting it in. 30 to 24, 13 seconds to go. Fountain Lake trying to, to get that, uh, Basket like J.C. Jones got at the end of the first quarter. Little pull-up shot, good. Good offense by both teams. Fugate lets one fly, and that's going to be the end of the first half. We're going to come back here in just a few minutes. Give us a little bit. We'll talk a little bit about what happened in first half action. You're watching Pottsville Basketball right here on the Arkansas Sports Network. Believe in them, and uh, they're, they're giving part view. Oh, good throw. That's a nice throw, and he's, does he have the speed? Got Spies, man, he's going to get there. Pass goes out to the left-hand side. Woo, Ooh, nice move. move. And he cuts move. back, and he's going to get close to the end zone. No, he's going to get in the end zone. You're going to fake the motion, give it up on a dive, and he's, man, no, he, he faked he it. That was a great oh, fake. God. Quarterback keeps it all the way. He's in for the touchdown. Talk about setting the edge. They're doing a good job with that. This is where uh -oh. a guy with this kind of athleticism, he's going to stop. Oh, he's got a man, got a man wide open. open. That's a touchdown. What a play. Unbelievable. Uh-oh, that's Elston on the reverse. Got a big one here. Got a reverse. He's uh -oh, in the open he's field, gone. and he number uh, seven is the only guy that's got him, and he did a great job attacking him, making him make the move. And, play, and he yep. did move a little again. Uh-oh, uh -oh. He's got a man. That's why they're doing it, but he underthrows it. Davis he's comes back and gets it, breaks a tackle. He's off to the races. You can't go out of man to man. No. He's got too much speed. Really could see these. these don't know Davis is what Thomas, Watch he puts Brinkley. it up the field. I don't know that he got it. He, he did. did. Murphy 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 wins. Murphy 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 wins. They win the 2A3 on a goal line stand. Are you kidding me? Oh.
back here on the Arkansas Sports Network. Appreciate uh, Peyton Prohaska being with us tonight. Uh, he has, he's joined us here. And, uh, man, Peyton, give us some thoughts in the first half here, buddy. Well, like you were talking about, momentum is definitely what both teams have. So far it's been kind of back and forth there. Pottsville had a lead, I believe it was about an eight-point lead, and then they cut it down, um, Cobras, cut it down to 26-30 games. So the Cobras kind of trying to make a comeback, Pottsville trying to defend their lead. It's been a good ball game so far. I mean, both teams are, you know, the offense really picked up, Justin, in, in the uh, second quarter. It was just 10-7 going into the quarter. Pottsville scored 23 points in the second quarter, uh, and I didn't realize that you didn't have your headset on there. <laughs> I can hear you, though. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Pottsville really picked up the offense. They created the offense from their defense, which uh, allowed them to score that 23 in the second quarter. Buckets lead to buckets, and they the, their energy on the defense, uh, like you said, it, it calls them to say, hey, we can go down here and score. We can stop them on our side. And we can go down here and score anytime you want to. And it's been pretty much it in the second quarter. It was really fun to see. So if you like good high school basketball tomorrow night, we will be in Clinton for the Clinton and Pulaski Academy ball game. Ooh. Two really good teams and boys and girls. It should yeah. be a, two fun matchups. You Then on Saturday, we will be at Ozark, uh, I believe 3 p.m. tip-off at Ozark as the uh, Pottsville Apaches will take on the Ozark Hillbillies. And uh, we'll be there Bringing you all the action. We're going to miss the Razorback game because of it, most likely. <laughs> but, you know, I guess it is what it is. It's part of it, right? I believe yeah. the Razorback game's at one, ain't it? It's at one, yeah, but we got to travel over there. Yeah, we'll be able to listen yeah. to it at least. Oh, yeah, we, we'll be able to watch it via phone, I guess. But anyway, we're going to uh, go uh, back to our bumper. We'll be back with second half action here from Pottsville. Pottsville leads 30 to 26. We'll be back in just a moment.
second half action. 30 to 26 in the score. Still a great ball game here from George Jones Gymnasium. Been a lot of, a lot of good offense. Um, you know, defensively, it's it's not been as pretty, but uh, you know, Pottsville again creating defense or creating the offense from their defense. Fountain Lake uh, in the second quarter, especially giving up 23 points, you don't can't call that a good defensive quarter for nope. sure. Which I know that they're they're going to want to come out and try to play a little bit better good defense. Pass. Good offense there by Pottsville. Nice job by Landon Williams getting to the open spot, 32-26. Now Fountain Lake has it on their end. And uh, again, trying to stay in this ball game. Good set there. I believe this number five here is the one that made that shot last year. Okay. Nine on the shot clock for Fountain Lake. 17 footer, no good. Good board, Brodingham. Williams has it in the front court. Fryer, he's wide open. Can he get his feet set enough? Nope, he couldn't. He just, those feet just, you know, he, he caught it and he just couldn't quite get it set correctly. He should have took a little dribble there and set That's it up again. That's exactly right. They're trying to look inside a little high-low action. To me, for Fountain Lake, that number 11 is where your offense has got to run through. Yep. <clears throat> That's a tough one there. 14 footer, no good. Rebound, Fryer. Now, Pottsville in transition. Brodigam has it. Puts it on the deck. Good. Finds the cut in Jones. Jones goes in. He's going to be called for a charge. So Jones picks up a foul. That's the first team foul for the Apaches. And I'm not totally sure how many fouls that is on Jones. It's two, maybe three. Yeah. Gotta I know be, it's at least two. Got to be careful if it's three, especially this early in third. Skip pass. N not much doing there. Pottsville's there defensively right now. They, yep. They're not really giving up too many open possessions, too many open shots. Felt like really having to work against the shot clock to, to get shots off. Speaking of that five on the shot clock, that was a good possession by them, though. They were patient, patient enough right there, and uh, that, that helped them, and uh, they're down four here. Jones gets cut off. He finds Fugate. Fugate puts it up. You know, Fugate really usually knocks that open shot down there. Now, Fountain Lake's got a chance to get within two and possibly one with a three. That Dawson Fryer, he's face guarding uh, number five for Fountain Lake. That's yeah, boxing one. Yep. They've been running that more often Kick lately. out three from the corner, no good. Good rebound there by Landon Williams. Now Fugate has it. Kick out, mm. ball's knocked away. Fountain Lake has it. Come up, we're under five minutes to go here in the third. Fountain Lake trying to set something up here. Not really, I guess they finally get it set now. 13 on the shot clock for Fountain Lake. Right, I'll tell you one thing you notice about Fountain Lake, they're pretty good out of set plays. That's what they're trying to run right now. Shot the modified up. man is what they're doing. Good board by 25, yeah. but good block by yeah. Brodigan. Good defense by Pottsville all the way through there. Yep. Kick out, Fryer, he likes that spot there. Mm. Three, no good. Jones has it though, he puts it up. Off back iron, hits mm. the rim twice, no good. Fountain Lake trying to get this within one possession here. We come up on the halfway point here in the third. Oh. Brodigan was there. They did a little switch action there. They're kind of switching everything right yeah, now. Yeah, it's a modified switch, man, and it's pretty effective. 
Well, one thing, you got to be able to recognize the switch is Jones wide open for three, mm. and he just isn't being able to find it right now. But you've got to be able to, to recognize those switches, and then you shallow cut those switches. Act like you're going to go screen and then don't screen. And it's flat, you flash wide open usually. They got down low. There's the mismatch. They're going to call a foul on Fryer. Peyton, you seeing anything, buddy? Uh, Podsville um, being pretty good on defense. And um, I think the Cobras are doing good um, offensively as well. They're moving the ball well, staying with their possessions. Pottsville, really, it's a good battle so far, honestly. Pottsville really battling them deep into the shot clock. That was a good set play there. Tell you that, their strength, the strength of Fountain Lake is the sets. They're being able to do some things out of those sets, and now we've got one possession ball game at 32-30. Pottsville needing something good to happen here. Kicks it out. Sutterfield, three-pointer up, off, no good. Lid is just on the bucket right now. After the 23-point third quarter, Pottsville has only scored two here. In, I'm sorry, in the second quarter, Pottsville only scored two here in the third. And, uh, you know, they're not getting – Fountain Lake's not really tearing up the nets either, but it's 32-30 ball game. It's been – Two quarters of, of a little bit struggle offensively and yep. one quarter of really good offense. But again, Pottsville was able to turn Fountain Lake over. Is that an adjustment that Pottsville was able to, or Fountain Lake was able to make? Will Sutterfield says no. <laughs> James has it. I'm just wait, waiting on James to pull one of them threes, man. He can shoot that ball. Oh, got, got an illegal screen on Sutterfield. Mm. Dawson Fryer going to come back into the ball game. Landon Williams also going to come back into the ball game. 2.22 remains here in the third. Pods will extend the defense once again. There's the spot you wanted if your Pods can't let him across your face there if you're Williams. Little crossover dribble, ball on the ground. Fugate has it. He gets it up to Williams. Williams gets it inside. Little reverse dribble, layup good. Nice job by Williams. Needed that. They sure did. Oh, nice job by Fugate, but uh, it's going to be out of bounds. And Boy, there ain't much room down there on the <laughs> sideline right there. No, not that spot for sure. I've hit that wall a couple times. Under two, four point lead for the Apaches. Fountain Lake staying in it though. They're staying strong right now. Good pass and, and we got a two point ball game again. Can't let that back, back door cut happen. I'll tell you, when you've got a guy that can find open players though, sometimes defense doesn't matter. Yep. Good move. You know, I, I would say that Pottsville has done a good job on defense for most of the night, if not all of it. Mm. But when you get a guy that can pass the ball. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of nights that back in the 80s when Magic Johnson, was their other team played pretty good defense, but Magic found an open guy, you know? Yeah. Shooting free throws here. Landon McNeely coming back into the ball game here in just a moment, or coming into the ball game, I should say, for the first time tonight. <laughs> Fryer and James coming out. 109 remains. Got one shot after the, the miss on the front end. Miss free throw there. Potts has got five fouls, so Fountain Lake is in the bonus. Both free throws were missed. Don't see that very often, even to get in the bonus. Jones has it. Pottsville up two. Fugate three up. Ooh. Big one. 
Garrett Hill going to take a 30-second timeout. Let's take one with him. 57.6 to go in the third. 37-32 Pottsville. We'll be back in a moment. We all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you. Back here at uh, George Jones Gymnasium, 57.6 seconds to go, 37.32. Thanks to Petrus Farms for being a sponsor with us as well. Uh, they are uh, uh, a new one that we've had come in. Good defense there. Potsville's got him right where mm. he wants, and then he finds the open man. Shot up, no good though. Rebound Austin McNeely, or Landon McNeely, I should say. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. Fugate making a couple plays, and that lead goes from two to seven real quick. Ooh, Rodigan really, really doing a good job making his presence felt tonight. That was a good job on defense there. And I'll tell you, of all the kids that have been at the top spot of that defense, he's probably done the best job up there tonight. Again, you're cutting off one half of the floor. You don't want them to be able to dribble to the other half. You want them to throw the lob pass and then come either get it, but also that gives you time to move your defense. Yep. Fugate has it, shot clock off, 10 seconds to go. McNeely pops out, seven. Fugate looking inside, he puts it on the deck, gets it out to Jones, three, two, one. Shot up. Ooh! Second buzzer beater in, in two quarters here. Wow. Nice job by Jones, 42-32. Pottsville makes a nice run, 8-0 run, to finish the quarter. They go into the fourth, up 10. We'll be back in just a moment. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc, a name you've come to know, is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot, because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. We're back here for fourth quarter action as it Pottsville leads 42-32. Uh, that was a big run there, Justin, toward the end of the third. Yeah, it was. Really pot, put Pottsville from 34-32 uh, to 42-32, 10 point lead here as we go into the fourth quarter. Oh, good pass. Now, and I'll tell you, again, I'm impressed by the, the court vision of number 11. Yep. Being able to get the ball down low and uh, you know, he's, he's really made a difference offensively for them. And I'll tell you, one of the things about this Fountain Lake team, they're not going to go away, I can tell you. Pottsville's going to have to continue to make plays here in the fourth quarter if they want to steal this victory. Jones gets it to Brodigam. Two sophomores playing well together. Fugate has it. He steps into a three. Off back iron, no good. Rebound, Fountain Lake. Fountain Lake trying to get this back in to two possession ball game with a two pointer and possibly a five point with a three pointer here. A big possession here for the Cobras. Mm. We got a foul being a little too active on the hands here. Six fifty four remains in the ball game. 
Eight point lead for Pottsville. Fountain Lake trying to get back within striking distance here on this possession. Nice pass, man, I'll oh, tell wow. you, this Fountain Lake team passes the ball well. Uh, they share it well. They, they do a good job of setting their teammates up. So, I feel like that uh, Pottsville's played pretty good defense for the night, but there's been some things that Fountain Lake has done. Yep. I feel like that has actually, you know, even against the good defense of Pottsville, they've been able to, to capitalize. Williams shoots a three, no good, and now Fountain Lake trying to get it back. Down within possibly four, maybe three with a three-pointer here. Fryer getting ready to check back in. Good pass there, cross court. There's another mm. one that they tried to force that one. But, uh, you know, they're, they've got the right idea. Yep. They're, they're definitely trying to get it down on the block with those passes, try to help their teammates out. Peyton, got anything to add, buddy? Uh, I don't know. It's been a good game. I can say that for sure. It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Yes, sir. Has, has it been everything you dreamed of? Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ooh, Rodigan, wow. He going to get fouled. No shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit light in the pants there. <laughs> yeah. And tried to help him up and just about threw him through the basket there. Fryer breaks through. They're looking to inbound at Fugate. Gets it to McNeely. McNeely, nice mm. cut. Nice pass. Nice play. Love it. Pottsville back up eight. Huge game for the Apaches tonight. They need to win this ball yes, game. They, they need to be able to pull through tonight. Eight-point advantage. The Fountain Lake has it down here on the offensive end. Brodigan better be careful. He's going to yep. pick up a foul. Good defense, but... He's very active with his hands, and then uh, Fountain Lake picks up the foul. But, uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been too much longer there if he had just kept his dribble. Probably would have picked up a foul. But, anyway, nonetheless, Pottsville gets the ball back up 8, 44-36 as we approach the five-minute mark here in the ball game. Fryer thought about it. Fugate isn't going to think about it. He's going to let it go. Williams there on the rebound. Williams has had a nice ball game tonight. Going to the free throw line, trying to get the lead back to 10. Jones about to come back in for Pottsville. Coming in for Fugate. Will Sutterfield coming in. As well, looks like he's going to come in for Landon Williams. And I would expect after a made free throw here that Pottsville will extend their, their defense. And he doesn't make it, though. Fountain Lake gets the rebound. Fountain Lake's going to make any moves. They need to make one quick here. 45-36 as we get later into this ball game. That's a three. And wow. Okay. He's open. He's open, he shot it, and he nailed it. So a six-point ball game. Fryer has it on the wing. Twenty on the shot clock for Pottsville. Mm. Ball is trying to get it into McNeely. It was too late. Now Fount Lake on the Good road. Deep. Great. Nice job by Jones, though. Now, Pottsville on the break. Brodigam, spin move, shot, good. Wow, good finish there. Nice play there by Cade Brodigam. Keeps that lead at three possessions at eight points. Always big when you get down the stretch, keep the lead at eight, or keep the, the uh, possessions at three. Another three by Fountain Lake, no good. The battle for the rebound is going to belong to Pottsville on the out of bounds. Sutterfield and Fugate coming back in. We got a timeout. Uh, Fountain Lake probably got to get to a full. It is a full. We'll take one with them. 344 remains in this ball game. 47-39, and we'll be back in just a moment. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins. 
be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need, Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. We got all kinds of fun stuff there. Really? <laughs> Pottsville leads eight points, 344 to go. Dawson Fryer going to inbound the ball for the Apaches. Sutterfield going to bring it into the front court. We need to add a cricket noise for when Duran makes a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ball knocked Ooh. away, and uh, it's going to be a foul on Pottsville. So 3.33 to go again. Don't Lake still hanging in here. Ball game not over just yet. Offense for defense substitutions coming in now. Eight point lead. As Felt Lake is into the front court. Good D there by yeah. Fugate. Nice job coming around his man, half front, getting out in front and tipping the ball away. Fugate played well tonight. Coming up on the three minute mark now. Fryer has it. Little crossover dribble, gets it to Brodigan, 14 on the shot clock. Jones gets into the lane. Nowhere to go, Fryer. Back to Fugate, Fugate, ball fake, oh. loses ball it fake. right there. Now Fountain Lake has it. Fountain Lake's got to think about going quick now as they're down eight with 2.39 to go. The one thing that you don't want to do right now if you're Pottsville, give up a bunch of three-pointers. Nope. Make them make two-pointers now. Under two and a half to go, 14 on the shot clock for Fountain Lake. Eight seconds on the clock. Trying to make something happen. Three, two, they got to get a shot off, and they don't. Great defense by the Apaches right there. Love it. Forcing the shot clock violation. And I'll tell you right now, that really puts a dagger into what Fountain Lake's trying to do right now with 2.08 to go in the fourth. Job beating the press there. Jones has it, crossover dribble, trying to get it to Fryer. Fryer comes up with it. Pottsville just needs to take care of the ball here. I mean, it's game over. Backdoor cut, Brodigan, nice pass. Man. I'll tell you what, man. Great I, extra pass. I'm telling you, I'm impressed. <clears throat> Impressed by the sophomore, continues to improve his game every day. Under a minute and a half to go, Pottsville up 10 now. And you don't want to give them three point opportunities, good defense, but the fact that you didn't foul on that one actually helps you. Yep. <clears throat> so now Fountain Lake, you either got a foul, Brodigan's gonna put it up, and that's it. Nah. I just don't see Fountain Lake being able to come back. Timeout, Pottsville full timeout. We'll take a quick one with them, 107 to go. Pottsville in the commanding lead, 51-41. We'll be back in a moment. 
We all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you. Got a final look here at our local sponsors. Appreciate you guys uh, for doing what you do. Peyton, buddy, 107 to go here. You've been up here with us now for basically two games. Uh, have you had a good time? Yes, sir, I have. Good. Enjoyed both games. Well, good, This man. one's been a good one, too. Yeah, it has. It's been a good one tonight. You know, really, when you look at the conference right now, you look at at Moralton and you look at Subiaco's kind of two teams that are up there by themselves. But outside of those guys, you've got your Ozarks, you've got your Fountain Lakes, you've got your Pottsvilles, and you got your Dardanelles. And one of those, or well, two of those teams are not going to regional, and two of those will. And, uh, you know, Pottsville's trying to be on the right side of that. Yep. Pottsville's got to step up. Well, tonight was a big, big night. We don't want to call it a win just yet with 55.6 to go, but down 10, I would say that Pottsville, up 10, I should say. Pottsville's got a great shot at at, uh, at winning this one. Just got to take care of the ball here. Fugate has it. Ball's knocked away. They're going to get a foul there, boy. It's close. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's what you don't want right nope. there. I mean, right now, the only thing that can really get get them back into this ball game would be stopping three, stopping three. And even at that. Yep. Good luck. That only gives you six points. Yeah. <clears throat> Pots are shooting free throws now. Yep. Lanny Williams to the line. Lanny Williams going to the free throw line. I mean, can we say to ice it 51.2 to go? Huh. I'd say pretty close. I think so with, with the, you know, 10-point lead. He, if he sinks one of these, yeah, we, uh, we'll call it iced. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 Landon uh, Williams. <laughs> I mean, it's still 10 points is, is considered four possessions. Yep. So I just, it, it just mathematically doesn't seem to be, you know, Fountain Lake doesn't really seem to be able to, to bring it back. 52-41 here. So Potts are going to pick up their second win in the conference, I believe. They've moved to two and three in the conference. While Fountain Lake will drop to three and two in the conference. Oh. And, and the Apaches are going to go to Ozark on Friday, or Saturday, I should say. 3 p.m. will be there from the Hack. Yep. Hillbilly Activity Center. <laughs> the Hack. The Hack. <laughs> right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be as funny as it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're just tired, really. 42.3 to go. You're a little bit worn out. You worked? You no, worked I was today. actually off today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I sat around with a baby girl and didn't do nothing. What's that like? Uh, it's marvelous when it happens, and, uh, especially after the holidays. It's been a while since I've had one of those days. There you go. Friar knocks down two free throws, 54-41. <clears throat> And uh, like I said, Pottsville will move on. Going to try to even the record up. Being at Ozark, another big game. Again, you talk about you got four teams that are vying for two spots. Yep. I mean, you know, we can say what we want to say, but Subi and, and Moralton, two really good teams. Two top teams in 4A, really. Yep. They really are. And, and so you've got Fountain Lake, Dardanelle, Pottsville, and Ozark. So... You get a chance to win. You won tonight. Yep. You get a chance to win again if you go on the road and still won. It'll be a big deal for Pottsville. It's Pottsville that, good boys getting revenge for last year on this game. And that's going to be the final score tonight, 54-41.
is your final score. We'll uh, go to a quick break. We'll come back, wrap things up here from George Jones Gymnasium. Believe in them, and uh, they're they're giving Parkview. Oh, good throw! That's a nice throw, and he's does he have the speed? Got Spies man. He's gonna get there. Pass goes out to the left hand side. Woo! Ooh, nice move. move. And he cuts move. back, and he's gonna get close to the end zone. No, he's gonna get in the end zone. I'm gonna fake the motion, give it up on a dive, and he's man. No, he, he faked he it. That was a great oh, fake. Quarterback keeps it all the way. He's in for the touchdown. Talk about sending the edge. They're doing a good job with that. No, this is where uh -oh. a guy with this kind of athleticism, he's going to stop. Oh, he's got, he's a, got a man wide <laughs> open. That's a touchdown. What a play. Unbelievable. Uh-oh, that's Elston on the reverse. Got a big one here. Got a reverse. He's uh -oh, in the open he's field. Gone. And he, number uh, seven is the only guy that's got him. And he did a great job attacking him, making him make the move and play. And he yep. did move a little again. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's got a man. That's why they're doing it. But he underthrows it. Davis he's comes back and gets it. Breaks a tackle. He's off to the races. You can't guard a man to man. No. He's got too much speed. Really could see these. these don't know Davis is what Thomas, Watch he Brinkley. puts it up the field. I don't know that he got it. He, he did. did. Murphy 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 wins. Murphy 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 wins. They win the 2A3 on a goal line stand. Are you kidding me? Oh. Three, two, one. We're back. <laughs> I'm going to wrap things up from George Jones Gymnasium. Let's just say thanks to Peyton for being part with us today, buddy. Glad you were along. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, thank you. You're welcome, bud. Tell, say, you get a chance to say your uh, your final words here. Give us, give us some words of wisdom. Well, it was a good game. Hard fought for Pottsville. Both teams uh, played as hard as they could, and uh, I think – um, this one was a good one. Definitely was a good one. Big win for Pottsville. They get a chance to uh, go to Ozark on Friday uh, with or Saturday with an opportunity to uh, even themselves up in the conference and, again, kind of give themselves a leg up when it comes to teams that they're going to battle for playoff positioning throughout the season. So, anyway, Justin, you got any final thoughts, bud? Uh, just nice to see both teams coming out and playing – Great games, getting dubs, uh, have a confidence boost going into, into Ozark this weekend where we start this uh, long stretch of away games, man, you got to do. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually next week is Clarksville and Moralton at here for Clarksville at Moralton, so it's not terrible. Yeah, well, it's coming. <laughs> right, right. It's coming. Yeah, it's the end of the year where the Fountain Lakes and the Waldrons and the Minas and all that. But anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate you joining us here. And appreciate our all our fine sponsors for being a part of what we do. And uh, <laughs> Jess, <laughs> that buzzer three was awesome. Yeah, yeah it was, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, wrap things up here again. Uh, Pottsville wins two tonight, both big time victories for each team, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday. Have a great night, guys.